Hello, everybody. Uh, very happy to be here, very happy to see all of you here. I'm Merit, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Single Earth. And what we do at Single Earth? Well, we are making money to save the world. And by making money, I mean literally creating a new currency. This new currency is the world's first nature-backed currency that is more specifically minted based on the work nature does. I'm going to jump into the details in a minute, but before that, a quick overview of who we are, who is behind this project. So Single Earth was co-founded back in 2019 by me and my co-founder, Andros. We met uh, slightly before a hackathon, so the company was actually founded at a, ha at a hackathon uh, that was called The Future of Wood. So the hackathon was all about finding new ways how to value wood. Now, everybody else back then was thinking of wood as a raw material. So we had teams that were building wooden carry-on summer cottages and sauna doorknobs and, and these crazy things out of wood. And then there was us saying, well, why don't we start to value wood as it is still growing in a forest as a tree? That was a very novel uh, idea three years ago. Uh, so we started finding ways how we can start valuing, financially valuing, forests while they're still growing and how to keep nature intact. The problem, or like the reason why we wanted to start solving this problem, came from a very local problem that we have back in our home country in Estonia, which is the fact that we have a lot of in intensive forestry happening there. So a lot of our beautiful old growth forests are taken down to produce timber. So that was the problem where we started from. I used to, before that, uh, work at Pipe Tribe, which is one of the Estonian unicorns by now. I was one of the early employees there. I was working as the head of localization. So my job was to take the product to different markets, make it accessible in different languages and different cultural contexts. My co-founder um, has been a lifelong engineer, a CTO in various software and hardware companies, and among other things, he was also one of the people who came up with the Estonian e-government idea back in the days. So that was kind of the starting point for us. A local problem, forests need to be valued for something else. We want to keep forests uh, growing. Let's see where we go now. Next up, we understood that the problem is not only about forests, it's about all kinds of natural resources and the way we are unable to assign financial value to nature in any other means by just uh, financing it as a raw material. And that is the fundamental problem. And it's also not just a problem specific to the Estonian context, it's actually happening all over the world. So the big problem that we're facing is that we don't know how to value nature as anything else as raw material. But if we look at what nature is actually doing, well, nature is literally making this planet habitable for all of us. If there wouldn't be no nature on this planet, we would not be living on this planet. It would just be a simple rock um, as any other planet. Now, if, we, if you know the context, you also can understand why we're saying that planet Earth is in trouble. And more specifically, we as the human species are in trouble because we are destroying the ecosystem that is keeping all of us alive. And that was the problem, big enough, that we decided that we need to uh, spend the rest of our lives uh, tackling. The scientists have defined nine planetary boundaries for the planet Earth. So these are the limits within which humans can survive. Now, you can all take a few seconds to think, like, what do you think? How we exceeded any of the planetary boundaries already today? The answer is yes. We, are, we have exceeded five out of nine planetary boundaries. And as you can see, obviously, climate change is one of them, and it's increasingly becoming more and more uh, a problem. But we're also doing very bad in terms of biodiversity loss. We're losing life around us and pollution, and both in terms of novel entities and chemical pollution. And now, what I want everybody to understand is that exceeding 
just one single planetary boundary already means that we are gambling with an ecosystem collapse every single day. And today, we are doing this in five categories. So if there is one thing that we all need to work on, where all companies should be contributing, where all investments should be directed to, is getting back within planetary boundaries and doing this really, really fast. The other thing is that, yes, we have the climate goals. We have the climate goal of, for example, reducing our greenhouse gas emissions globally by 45% by 2030. Who among the audience thinks that we're going to hit that target? Nobody. And you are all right. Based on the current action plans that we have and the current commitments, the greenhouse gas emissions are going to increase by 14% by 2030. And the similar situation is happening in other sectors as well. So biodiversity loss had global plans for how to halt biodiversity loss set up in 2010. And 10 years later, the same governments came back together, understood that, well, we have not met a single biodiversity target and set another bunch of, uh, of new ones. So what I want to say with that is that although we do have one-on-one -on -one, like, goals that we are not going to meet, what's even worse is that we don't have a systematic way of how to shift our current lifestyle and the economy to a fully sustainable way of living so that we would uh, achieve all of these goals together. And that's the problem that we decided that we need to fix. So we needed to find the one thing that connects all humankind and the entire planet. So how can we connect to consumers, businesses, the governments? And we understood that the one thing that connects all of these is money. So we're introducing the world's first nature-backed currency because we understood that if we're able to switch how we create money, how we assign or create financial value to the world, and shift that to a nature-based solution, we can actually turn the economy around. How do, how do we do that? So here on the one side, you can see the planet Earth. So this is the planet that we're looking at, that, that we're living on. It's covered with uh, nature. Forests, wetlands, grasslands, anything. And all of these natural resources are providing what's called the ecosystem services. Now, ecosystem services are the, the things, the positive things that nature does to make this planet habitable for us. So it's the services that the ecosystem is providing the humans. It can be anything starting from providing us with the air we breathe, the food we eat, the water we drink, but also things like um, removing CO2 from the atmosphere or holding biodiversity. Now, these are all the things that we have never paid the landowners for maintaining. Instead, what we have been paying the landowners for is taking down the forest, digging up wetlands to monetize this all as a raw material. So we understood that if we want to make a change, we need to be able to quantify, first of all, all of these ecosystem services. And for that, we started building what we call the digital twin of planet Earth. We combine satellite data, big data analysis, and machine learning to describe what nature does how nature is removing CO2, holding biodiversity, and providing all of these ecosystem services in real time. And why this is necessary for us is because this is um, our oracle to mint the tokens. So we're minting the merit tokens based on the ecosystem services nature provides, and this is how we um, enable landowners to start earning money from the ecosystem services that their uh, lands are providing. The second part of the impact and how we get to this uh, net zero and fully sustainable economy is by rolling the tokens out as an actual currency, a green money for the world. Because the amount of tokens in circulation is always limited to how much nature can sustain. And by that, for the first time in human history, we are able to cap the economy with how much nature can sustain to the planetary boundaries. So we're currently a team of more than 50 people. And we're backed by Equity Ventures and Icebreaker from Finland and Sweden. Uh, we have our own science team working on building the digital twin. Um, 
And yeah, to conclude, uh, we're bringing nature to Web3 to save it and rolling this out as a nature-based currency. So think of any currency that you're using in your daily transactions, and in the future, you will be doing everything that you're doing with your money today with a nature-backed currency called the Merit. Thank you so much, and let's save the world together.